The Olympus U.S. Open Series. It's where the hard court season really kicks off. It must be summer. It must be love. It must be the Olympus U.S. Open Series. Welcome to another year of the Olympus U.S. Open Series. What's new for the men in 2010? Well, for starters, where they start. The tennis hotbed of Atlanta provides a perfect backdrop for the first stop on the Olympus U.S. Open Series, the Atlanta Tennis Championships. With so many league and recreational players in Atlanta, it also is a suitable place to host the men's championship of the inaugural U.S. Open National Playoffs. We'll have more on that in a moment. But first, with the true regular season of hardcore tennis ready to get underway, let's take a look at the leading players to watch this year on the Olympus U.S. Open Series. The Spaniard Rafael Nadal is riding high at number one in the world after winning the French Open in Wimbledon back-to-back -back for the second time in his career. He will start in the latter stages of the Olympus U.S. Open Series in August in Toronto and Cincinnati with the goal of winning the U.S. Open for the first time. Nadal heads into the hardcore season supremely confident, hoping to arrive in New York for the Open, fresh and fully fit for the first time. Roger Federer will be eager and determined to regain his winning ways this summer. The 16-time Grand Slam tournament champion has not won a title since the Australian Open this past January and has lost in his last eight tournament appearances. Federer needs to record some big wins over the summer on the Olympus U.S. Open Series to restore his confidence and make a strong bid for a sixth U.S. Open title. Every year since 2007 when he reached his first Grand Slam singles final, Novak Djokovic has been one of the leading players on the Olympus U.S. Open Series. He's at his very best on hard courts and seems to regularly hit a season peak at this time of the year. Djokovic moved past Federer to number two in the world after Wimbledon, but his one and only goal across this summer will be playing his finest brand of hardcore tennis on the Olympus U.S. Open Series. Two years ago, Andy Murray was a surprise finalist at the U.S. Open. A year ago, he shined on the Olympus U.S. Open Series. Now the British star is looking to get going in a big way on the hard courts. He's not won a tournament all year after becoming the tour leader a year ago with six titles. After a second straight semifinal showing at Wimbledon, Murray seems to be playing the kind of tennis that can take him just about anywhere he wants to go. On my top five list of players to watch in this Olympus U.S. Open series, Sweden's Robin Soderling and Thomas Burditch of the Czech Republic both must be included. Soderling made it to his second straight French Open final this year and Burditch appeared in his first Grand Slam final at Wimbledon. These two big hitters are both formidable on hard courts and will be in the running everywhere they go on the summer hard court campaign. Either of these men is a potential U.S. Open champion this year. Three prominent American men will be very much in the picture this year on the Olympus U.S. Open Series. First and foremost, Andy Roddick, who remains the best player in American tennis and a perennial threat at the U.S. Open. Roddick suffered a jarring fourth round loss at Wimbledon, but he will be determined to have an excellent Olympus U.S. Open Series, and he's always loved the heat and hard courts over the summer. But Roddick will be joined by two other prominent American men this upcoming hard court season. Six foot nine inch John Isner beat Roddick at the U.S. Open a year ago and became a household name at Wimbledon this year by winning the longest match ever recorded in 11 hours and five minutes, outlasting Nicholas Mahout 70-60 in the fifth set and serving a record 113 aces in that contest. Isner now looks to raise his status even more on the Olympus U.S. Open Series, as does his doubles partner and close friend Sam Query, who was so consistent all summer last year during the Olympus U.S. Open Series. Those are the names you know. Now for some unknowns competing for a spot on the greatest stage in tennis. The U.S. Open National Playoffs made their debut this year. It allowed anyone to compete for a spot in the qualifying tournament of the U.S. Open. Thousands responded and competed in 16 sectional events held from Hawaii to Connecticut. Those 16 winners take the court in Atlanta during the final weekend of the Atlanta Tennis Championships. One man walks away with a spot in the qualifying tournament of the U.S. Open. Then comes the chance to play his way into the main draw and perhaps get his name listed up there. The stars of the game? You don't have to wait to see them. Their journey to the U.S. Open takes them to the hard courts of the Olympus U.S. Open Series. You can watch every week on ESPN2, Tennis Channel, and CBS. Check your local listings. You can also follow the action all summer long right here on OlympusUSOpenSeries.com. 
I'm Steve Flink, and thank you so much for watching our preview of the 2010 Olympus U.S. Open Series. Hi, we're the Bryan Brothers. Looking forward to seeing you this summer at the Olympus U.S. Open Series.